good morning and welcome to the Clawfuss. I hope that you are well this morning. I was reading in the book of Judges and I was in chapter one and this reoccurring theme just kept coming up and kept coming up. And as I was reading, I'm like, oh no, oh no, don't tell me. And sure enough, it was, so the Lord had given the tribes their land, their allotted land. And one of the things that he said was that you need to drive out the people. And, and not take part in, in their gods and worshiping their idols. And over and over and over, like you see in verse 21, the Benjamites, however, did not drive out the Jebusites. And you read about this, more and more tribes not driving out whoever was in that land. And I, I'm just like, oh no, I know what's gonna happen. And sure enough, in chapter two, the angel of the Lord went up to Gilgad and said, I brought you up out of Egypt and led you into the land I swore to give you and your ancestors. I will never, I said, I will never break covenant with you and you shall not make a covenant with the people of this land, but you shall break down their altars. You have disobeyed me. Why have you done this? And I have also said, I will not drive them out before you. They will become traps for you and their gods will become snares to you. When the angel of the Lord had spoken these things, all the Israelite people wept aloud and they called that place uh, Bokin. They, there they offered sacrifices to me. Now, I'm not suggesting that we start driving people out of lands. I'm not saying that at all. But I think we can learn something from this. God is really clear that we not bring the abominational thing um, into our homes, that we are really clear to not take the idols of our culture and bring them in to be part of our culture. And it is so important that trying to, you know, when in Rome, be like the Romans or trying to be culturally relevant, that we do not bring the gods and the idols of our culture into our homes, into our lives, and have them just be commonplace. Because God has made that really clear, that He alone is the one and only living God, and we are supposed to put Him first. We are supposed to worship Him and serve Him, and nothing should come before our worship to Him. Nothing should come before our lives being totally given to Him. So today, I wanna encourage you to spend some time with the Lord and ask the Lord, are there things in my home? Are there things in my life that are going to be snares for me, that might stop me from really being completely 100% in covenant with you, 100% saying, my life is not my own, it's all yours, God. Ask the Lord to show you. You might not actually like the answers, but, when we walk in covenant and obedience and in faith with God, it opens the doors for his amazing promises, his amazing blessings, and just amazing abundance. So I encourage you today to take it seriously and walk in the love that God has for you, but to ask him, what is going to be a snare for me? What is gonna trip me up from being completely sold out to you? and take care of it because God's ways are higher than our ways and what he has for you is way better than anything this world can offer. Have an amazing day and God bless.